What's going on, everybody? Don't forget to like and subscribe. The Detroit Pistons have played in two preseason games already, and while it's preseason and you don't want to take too much from it, there's certainly some things that you can already peel away from the Pistons' two preseason games. And as you can tell from the title of this video, this film review is going to be over the Detroit Pistons' all-star center, Andre Drummond. And before I get into it, I'm just going to remind you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys showed me a lot of support on my last film review on Derrick Rose. If this is a series that you guys really like and really want me to keep going with, go ahead and smash that like button down below. I really appreciate it. So all these clips are going to come from the Pistons' latest preseason game against the Dallas Mavericks, which they won. A lot of good performances from Luke Kennard, Derrick Rose, but Andre Drummond really caught my eye and caught Dwayne Casey's eye after the game in the presser. Now Koo, how do you know what Dwayne Casey said in the post game presser? Well, in case you guys didn't know already, Koo is a, a credentialed media member, which means I'll be at every Pistons home game and I'm allowed access in the locker rooms, the post game press conference, and pre game questions. So you guys will be getting all kinds of special content from me and special insight from questions I ask players and coaches. Okay, let's get into Andre Drummond. The fan base has been pretty reckless with Andre over the past few years, and it's because he doesn't have much of an offensive game outside rolling to the basket, offensive rebounds, etc. And while that in and of itself isn't really a problem, a lot of the fan base has been yelling for him to develop a three-point shot, a mid-range shot, because that's automatically what they think about when they say, improve your offensive game. And while no doubt, Andre has definitely tried to add a three-point shot to his game, we saw it last season at the beginning of the year, and he's already taken some threes in the preseason. That's not where Pistons fans should be expecting him to improve, or want him to improve really, and if he doesn't improve in that area or even add any kind of shot, he can still become a very offensive player, which he already pretty much is with his rolling and his gravity and his offensive rebounding, but the aspect that he should be adding to his game is not shooting, and we're starting to see him do it in the preseason. Let's rewind all the way to Stan Van Gundy's last season as the Detroit Pistons head coach and general manager. He had Andre Drummond running the offense through the high post and we really got to see how good of a passer Andre was. Now let's rewind even further back to Stan Van Gundy's first season as the Pistons coach. We saw Andre Drummond getting a lot of post ups and not scoring very much in them. Stan Van Gundy learned very quickly that Andre Drummond just isn't a good post player when it comes to scoring and he actually is a quite good passer for his size. So he took advantage of what Andre was good at. However, just because Andre is not a very good scorer in the post does not mean that you can't create some offense out of Andre in the post. Now, let's get into some of the clips. While you're watching these clips, I just want everyone to remember that a few years ago, or maybe even beginning of last year, that most of these would result in a 10 foot hook shot from Dre or a fourth shot in the post that would likely miss. See, this Pistons fans, this everybody, is what Andre Drummond can improve at and what can take him to the next level. We're gonna freeze the clip right here. He just set a screen and was rolling to the basket which Derrick Rose fed him. Look at where the defenses are, he has two people collapsing the paint. And instead of forcing up a bad shot, he wisely kicks out to open Luke Kennard whose man got caught sleeping in the paint for a corner three. And what makes this pass next level is watch the fake pass right there. Andre keeps the ball high, he fake passes which allows him to see the court, see that Luke Kennard's man is both feet in the paint, and instead of going up in the much smaller defender which he maybe could have scored on, he finds our best 3 point shooter for an open corner 3. That was a great play. In this clip, Andre gets down the court fast and gets Kristaps Porzingis on his back in the post early in the shot clock, and those who have watched Andre Drummond throughout his career know that in previous years, this would have went off the bottom of the backboard, or he probably would have traveled, or something leading to a turnover. And we're going to stop the clip right about here. Now, like we said earlier, Andre isn't the greatest scorer in the post, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have tremendous gravity when he gets down there. Look at where all the Mavericks defenders are looking. All five of them are staring right at Andre Drummond. Like and by the time he gets down there, he realizes he doesn't have a shot and instead of forcing up a bad shot, he finds his open teammate in the corner and Tony Snow for a corner three. Again, just another tremendous play by the Pistons center. And for this final clip, I just want to put even more emphasis on this point. Right here would have been a forced hook shot from the block over a seven foot what, three defender? His chances of making that are just extremely low. This play specifically speaks to maturity and the improvement of Andre Drummond. 
We're gonna freeze the clip when he gets the ball in the post from Blake. Watch what he does right here. He takes a dribble, gathers himself, and sees the court. He sees that Luca and Derrick Rose's man are not even paying attention to them. They're all looking at Andre. So when Andre gathers himself, he knows his Reggie wide open in the corner, and instead of forcing up the bad hook shots that Pistons fans may have came accustomed to in previous years, he finds the open corner three for Reggie Jackson. Again, another tremendous play from the Pistons center. Going over the clip one last time, I just want to point this out. Look at all of the defenders. Literally every Mavs defender on the court is looking at Andre Drummond. When this camera unfreezes, watch Tim Hardaway. He takes a look back at Luke and just looks right back at Andre. Andre has the attention of the entire defense. If you want to get the best shots from the perimeter, it starts from going inside and out. And when you got a big guy like Andre that commands this much attention and is this much of a beast inside, if he can pass as well and find his open teammates, you're going to have open threes for days. This right here, not three point shooting, not improved post game where you can shoot fadeaways, not improved mid range game, no. This right here is where Andre Drummond can take the next step offensively and take a next step as a player in general. If he can continue this into the regular season, which I'm sure he's going to, this could mean major things for the Pistons. Not only does this just make the Pistons a better team, it's just extremely fun to watch. Like me being there up and close, seeing Andre make these plays, like I was just, I was going to explode. Well, this is the end of this film review. If you guys liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you guys have any comments about it, anything you guys saw in the previous game that I may have missed, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. Or if you guys have an idea of what you guys want me to do a film review over next, anything that caught your guys' eye, go ahead and let me know about that also. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe because I got much more content coming to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.